Speakmarker's automated webinar feature allows you to essentially put your webinars on autopilot. And to set it up, it's really quite simple. All you have to do is find the green schedule button at the top right hand corner of your screen and click it. This is going to bring you to our scheduling page where you can fill out some basic details about your webinar, such as a title, the webinar format, which you'll want to select as automated, the occurrence, so date, time, and duration, as well as some other basic details about your webinar, such as the privacy settings. From here, you'll want to click schedule again, and it's going to bring you to your automated webinar page. Now from here, in the automation tab, you'll be able to trigger automated events around your automated webinar. You'll notice that by default, you have three automated webinar settings that are already set up. The webinar start time, or rather open time for attendees, the start time of the actual webinar, and then also the end time. Um, any content that you add in this section is going to be fair game that will trigger during your live webinar. And to set this up, all you have to do is click the green new auto event button Choose the type of content that you want to trigger, such as a video, a chat, a poll, a handout, or offer. And when you do select your option, a drawer is going to slide out asking you when you want to trigger this uh, chat message or content type, along with uh, the title and the content itself, so the message in this case. And all you have to do after that is click Save. Now, you can continue adding as many content types as you want by clicking the new auto event button again and again. Now I've already scheduled out an automated webinar for you to see. And as you can see here, we have several automated events that are scheduled in this timeline. Now at the very bottom in the end webinar section, you'll want to make sure that the end webinar time is the time that you actually want to end the webinar, as well as the exit URL that you want to send people after the webinar is over. Once all of this is programmed, again, you can just click save and your webinar will be complete. Now, just for a few more settings, you'll want to go to the top right hand corner of the screen where your audience permissions are. And you'll want to make any selections that you want about uh, the abilities that audience members have during the webinar, such as are they able to utilize the public chat during your automated webinar, or perhaps uh, do you want to allow them to ask questions in the Q&A section. So this is up to you, but by default they are off, so you'll want to make any changes uh, before your automated webinar opens if you do want to allow cer certain attendees to, to be able to um, utilize these features. Now the final step here is the automation test. Now. If you want to see how your automated webinar will play out, we do have a simulated environment where you can click play test here and it's going to trigger an auto event uh, of your automated webinar. Once you enter into the test environment, you'll notice that the webinar room looks exactly the same as it would if you were hosting a live webinar on Big Marker. Now the only difference is in the host control panel here, you'll notice that you have your automation tab that's fully kind of complete with all of the automations that you've already set up. Now you don't have to do anything from here. If you just sit around and wait, you'll see that you have a countdown in the start webinar section where it's going to count down the number of minutes and seconds that you have until the, the actual automated webinar starts. From here, all of your automations will then play out according to the way that you've scheduled them in the previous page. Again, this is a tester environment, so you cannot record, but it will just give you a sense of how the live automated webinar will actually appear when it happens on Big Marker. Thanks and happy hosting.